Co-ops are fun to work with because they embrace technology. We've got so much line to cover, so many inspections to do, and we're not for profit. The environment of the co-op really is a great breeding ground for creativity and how to use these new technologies to get the job done because you've got to cover a lot of ground. My name is Stan McCann. I work for NRECA as a senior research engineer. I focus on data analytics, UAS technology, uh, which includes you know machine learning, AI. There are two primary ways co-ops gathered information about their assets. One is an asset inventory. And the second way is through uh, their inspection programs, where they have folks going out inspecting the grid every day. You miss a lot looking from the ground up. If you're standing on the street looking up at a pole, you're not going to see the pole from the top down with the UAS up flying above it and taking several high-res images around it. You get a lot more uh, information about how healthy that pole is. Um, if you don't have something helping you add context to that data, you're just putting bits on drives. You go to look for something, you're just, you're not going to be able to find it. So you got to have tools to help you do that. You know, really excited about some of the work uh, Precision Hawk, uh, others are doing in the machine learning AI space because that can actually speed up uh, even further how fast we get results back into people's hands to take action. In the co-op world, we have the RUS standards. So we know what this type of pole is, and it has this length of cross member on it, and it requires this bolt, and if you're gonna hang a, a bank of transformers on it, here's the brackets you use. Here's the, we have a lot of detail on this that's documented. We have a way to compare the image we see to a standard. As you're looking at images, that uh, subject matter expert is marking up what they're seeing, and the system is learning while you're doing that. So that's a great way to accelerate the time curve to getting machine learning and AI on board, helping us with UAS inspections and UAS and uh, data analysis. And a lot of co-ops you know, and engineers are gonna be uncomfortable just trusting it all to a computer out of the gate, but having a human in the loop to confirm it and maybe see a couple things that the AI program missed, that still speeds things up and uh, have a huge effect on the grid reliability. If you get to replace that pole before it snaps in a storm then causes an outage, that's a good day. If you catch something that's gonna cause a potential safety hazard, just having that data allows them to make these data-driven decisions to prioritize their work to improve the reliability of the grid. That's always a good day. The future is really, really promising. That's why I really encourage people to get started. Don't think you've got to go out and set yourself up to fly every mile of your co-op tomorrow. Have somebody really train you on, on how to go out and fly around power, how to really use the imagers, uh, the high-res imagers, how to actually you know, fly in that environment safely, um, but also how to position your focal lengths and so forth so you're getting you know, five to six shots of pole that are really uh, tell you a story about what's going on with that asset. The co-ops that are adopting it, the result has been uh, a, a significant increase in grid resilience and reliability um, because those are the those are the co-ops that have gotten really dedicated to it and really adopted it and you know basically uh, put it into their DNA uh, on their on uh, how they operate every day. Linemen having them in their trucks keeps them out of harm's way. You, know, you can have a Mavic in the air in no time. Keep that guy off the pole, keep the guy out of the bucket truck unless it's really necessary. And that data comes back immediately for dispatchers and operations people to look at to make decisions on what to do next. There's a lot of smart people out there and the UAS technology is one of those like data analytics. It's all about making the smart people that are already out there work smarter and be smarter. They're already they're great people, right? Now we're giving them tools to even do better.